Good day. So we're now here to demonstrate and do an instructional video for Air Masters Oxygen Concentrator. And we're also joined with Air Masters Family Doctor. Uh, good morning, Doc. Good morning. <laughs> so yeah, so right now here in front of us, we have the oxygen concentrator, one to seven liters per minute. It's a portable oxygen concentrator. It's good for your homes or you know during the, these uh, times right now uh, this is important to have so yeah don't. i think we can also use this in our clinics mm -hmm. and also in our offices like in cases of emergency then uh, it's readily available for the use of your patients and your employees mm -hmm. okay so this one uh, actually uh, these are two both models one to seven liter per minute. Um, they have the same features and functions. So the maximum it can give is around seven liters per minute. And um, the only difference is basically the casing. So now I'm gonna show you. Uh, so the first step to do is uh, to plug the socket to a 220 volts. And then we have here the humidifier cup. So actually, Doc, this one, um, you just have to put uh, distilled water uh, here in the, you can see the maximum cap. So it has to be distilled water. Yes, it has to be distilled. So just open this cap and then you pour the distilled water and then you put it back. So the main purpose of this is to humidify the air coming in from the machine to the patient's body or the nose because without the water uh, the air will be dry so dry sha it's not um, you know it's not good also for for yourself so to start the operation just press the on button and then um, you have to wait for 30 minutes for the unit to run and give its maximum uh, potential. And then if you want to have a voice activation, one of the good things about Air Masters unit is you have the voice activation button. So yon, it says voice on. And then right now it's on 3 liters per minute at 55% purity. So to change the flow rate, just press flow five until seven and then you can go down to one liter per minute so here doc you can see the oxygen purity so we have here is the anion button yeah so basically it purifies the air the anion gives uh, negative ions to make sure that the air filtered here is clean so on the back um, here is actually the filter screen and the filter cotton which you put at the back and then doc how do we uh, can you explain how basically the oxygen concentrator works okay uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, the air we breathe is composed of 79% nitrogen mm -hmm. and 21% oxygen mm -hmm. now the oxygen concentrator consists of a compressor mm -hmm. and two sieve filter beds the compressor squeezes atmospheric air and adjusts the pressure at which it is delivered and then the seed beds, uh, they are made of a material you call zeolite, which separates the nitrogen. Mm, okay. I see. So the oxygen is released into a tank that is connected to the cannula, which is attached to the patient. Mm -hmm. While the separated nitrogen is released in the atmosphere. Okay, so practically... Uh, Practically, it really concentrates mm -hmm. the 21% oxygen and brings it up to about at most 95% oxygen. Okay, now let's do a demonstration. So, this oxygen concentrator, it comes with a 2 meter nasal oxygen cannula. And it also has the nebulizer kit. 
it comes with one nebulizer kit so you can also use this as a nebulizer um, okay so now we'll turn it off again and we'll open this so it says to attach the tubing to the gas um, chamber to the inlet yes yeah. and then normally when you use this oxygen concentrator you have to let it run for 30 minutes before it can do a consistent uh, purity so hindi siya pwede yung, when you turn it on you'll just wear it and then that's it so it's best to turn it on 30 minutes before you use so this one is the nasal cannula this so, is the one you attach to the patient's nose. Yes, correct. Okay, so later uh, we'll show you uh, how to use this in a patient. And then another is the nebulizer kit. So for the nebulizer kit, basically we'll open it. You attach this here. This is the one and this is where you put the medication. Put it here. Let's and say salbutamol, no? For yes, asthma. For mm -hmm. And you put this here. And then you attach this. Okay. So you notice that air comes out here. So normally for nebulizer, it, it uh, you know we recommend to put it on minimum of four liters per minute and up. Next is we'll discuss uh, the maintenance of this unit. So firstly, um, you have to make sure that uh, each person has their own nasal cannula. Uh, you cannot share the nasal cannula. Uh, with another patient and then you have to clean it at least um, every three days you can soak it with water just soak it with water for 20 minutes uh, to clean the whole nasal cannula and then um, for the machine you just have to damp it with uh, water and cloth so don't put any chemicals um, Lysol or any disinfectant to clean it so just damp water and then for the filter, the filter is located here at the back. So basically the filter you have to replace every 300 hours. So this one, uh, you can also buy this from Airmaster. Um, the filter is replaced every 300 hours and it says here in the machine, the count the count so you'll know how many hours it was already used there and then you also have the timer if you want to time the oxygen concentrator to 30 minutes one hour up to four hours maximum use is four hours maximum timer is four hours but this machine can actually be used for 48 hours straight and then after 48 hours the water will um, evaporate so you need to replace with uh, distilled water and then also we're gonna discuss this uh, one important feature it's the maintenance port so it's located here at the back and so this one is the maintenance port that you need to adjust at least once a week if you use it every day so every every uh, seven days so this is used to remove the water vapor so this if you turn it right this is tight and then when you turn it on the left it will be it loosens so it will be releasing water vapor so it is recommended to you know do it for around five minutes to release water vapor at least once a week then you tighten it. Uh, if I may add, uh, 
we know that the normal oxygen saturation requirement of our lungs is 94 to 100 mm percent. -hmm. Now, as I said, in medical conditions like pneumonia and asthma, uh, the oxygen supply of our lungs can lower up mm -hmm. to 93 percent and below. So this concentrator can help those people whose oxygen levels are between 88 to 93 percent mm -hmm. because it can deliver pure oxygen up to 95 percent. But as I said, when your requirement is low, very low, that means you have a serious pulmonary problem, mm -hmm. then maybe you really need to go to the hospital for a more intensive management. So in summary, this oxygen concentrator is much needed. It is a much needed life-saving device. You can use at home, mm -hmm. in your clinic, or in your office. It is easy to operate. Mm -hmm. There are no big tanks or cylinders needed. It delivers up to 95% oxygen. And it works well with those whose oxygen level are within 88 to 93%. At this time of the COVID pandemic, where we are short of hospital beds mm -hmm. and oxygen, this oxygen concentrator is indeed a life-saving device everyone should have access to. And as a doctor, I would recommend uh, for everyone.